know going into a movie that you're going to treat these people the same way. You're going to bring these people together. How? What are what are in your experience the hurdles that you face that were unexpected? Jared, I would I would shoot it to you. Like, is there a specific thing that's happened in your career where you're like, I how do I deal with this? What do I do right well, now? Well, it's always the unanticipated stuff. So like the last movie I did, our lead actor got the flu in the middle of the shoot, and it just threw us into a like a giant tailspin. Uh, Was he unable to perform then? Completely or? unable to perform. Like, just really, really ill. And so it, the shoot started pushing multiple days where on a day-to-day -day basis we didn't know whether the actor was going to be able to work, which, but you're still paying for it. So, uh, and then it was, we were losing locations. We had actors who were then going to go on to other movies. So we started having stop-loss issues. And then that's where the job, I mean, I think, I love what I do. So I feel like producing is a very easy job because I love it so much. It's those sorts of circumstances though where it gets incredibly hard very quickly because everybody starts looking at you and I don't have an answer because I don't know when the actor is going to get better. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know. And so all you try to do is I keep up with hoping that you don't start losing crew and that you can still get locations and you can still right. get the actors back, but you're just trying to like keep the reins. Reva, is there something that you have uh, conquered I can, or at I mean, least I can encountered? share something funny and anecdotal. It was yes. on the set of The <laughs> Romantics, and we were supposed to have shot the film in the summer. We were shooting out on the North Shore, by the water. Katie Holmes is in this movie, so we have, like, literally, Melissa can share this, we have the paparazzi, like, floating along the shore trying to get photos of Katie and Tom. So the days are running over for a number of reasons, but some of which is because you're, like, managing photographers trying not to get shots. So the like big culmination of the whole film is when all of the cast, and it was a big ensemble, they run into the water. But we ended up shooting the film in December. So it's after Thanksgiving, it's in December, it's absolutely freezing. And the director was like, they have to all run in the water. They have to strip naked and they have to all run in the water. And so we as a producer were like, oh my God, this is a this is like a, an insurance nightmare, a health nightmare, because <laughs> you had to have all of your water safety out in the water as well. It was midnight, it was cold and there was no place to keep the actors warm. We didn't have any warming tents. The vans couldn't get down because we were on the beach and it was private property and so anyway, so the director insisted on it and we were like, we're gonna make this work. Okay, the talent did many, many shots of alcohol <laughs> and they were Tell like, me. we're gonna do this. There was a ton of camaraderie <laughs> among, among the cast. And so all of us, all of the producers, like everyone, we just had all of these massive coats waiting. So when they emerged from the water, we could just like run up to them, give them bear hugs and like get them really, really warm and then shepherd them into a tent. So we did that, we had it on a crane, they all jumped in there naked. They, like, it, they all really, really went for it and like took their tops off and like had a really great time and stayed in the water way longer than they needed to or should have so that the director could get what she wanted. You had a good cast too, I guess. We had a great they cast. Were, they were into it. Yeah. Um...